If a bag contains 21 candies and there are 3 candies in each small bag, how many small bags can be made? To figure the answer, we will do division. So, we will divide 21 divided by 3. So, does 21 come in 3's table? 3 1's are 3, 3 2's are 6, 3 3's are 9, 3 4's are 12, 3 5's are 15, 3 6's are 18, 3 7's are 21. So, 3 7's are 21. The minus 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. So the answer is 7. Which of the following fractions is equivalent to 1 by 2? To find the equivalent fractions, we do we multiply the fraction by the same number. So first we multiply 1 times 2 and then 2 times 2. 1 times 2 is 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. So the answer is option A. In the number 47,239, what is the value of the digit 2? In 47,239, the number 2 is here for year. This is thousands. This, the 4 is 10,000. The 7 is thousands. The 2 is hundreds. The 3 is tens. And the 9 is ones. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. So 2 comes in hundreds. The answer is C, hundred. The graph shows the number of children visiting a zoo. So, over here. So, first let's read the question. How many children visited the zoo on Thursday? 1 smiley equals to 10 students. On Monday, there were 10, 20, 30. Half smiley will equal to 5. 35 students. Students visiting the zoo. On Tuesday, there are 30 students visiting the zoo. On Wednesday, there are 20 students visiting the zoo. On Thursday, there are 25 students visiting the zoo. And on Friday, there are 55 students visiting the zoo. And on Thursday, there are 25 students visiting the zoo. So the answer is 25 students. What is the value of 18 divided by 3 times 2? For this question, we will first divide 18 by 3. So we apply Bodmas rule here. D for bracket, O for off, D for divide, M for multiply, A for add and S for subtract. This is the order we solve the algebra problems. So, does 18 come in C stable? 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15, and 3 6s are 18. So 3 6s are 18. So V minus 0, 0. So, now, so 18 divided by 3 equals to 6. What is 6 into 2? 12. So, the answer is 12. What is the name of a three-dimensional shape with six square faces? So, in all these shapes, all of them are 
three dimensional shapes meaning 3d shapes now that we know that all of these are three dimensional shapes let's first see cone 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 has one flat base meaning cone is not the answer cylinder has two flat bases and one circular base and cone also has one circular base that means these two are not the answer sphere sphere only has one circular base so that is not the answer and cube has six square faces that means cube is the answer a toy store has 90 teddy bears if they want to sell them equally in 10 days how many teddy bears will they sell each day now if there were 100 teddy bears then they would sell 10 each day but there are 90 teddy bears that means we have to divide 90 by 10 so dividing 90 by 10 will equal to 9 meaning 9 is the answer what is the difference between 1.9 and 0.3 what is the difference between 1.9 and 0.3 so first of all the meaning of difference is subtracting so if we minus 0.3 from 1.9 then the answer will be 9 minus 3 is 6 and 1 minus 0 is 1 so the answer would be 1.6 1 1.6 1 is over here so the answer is 1.6 read the following question and circle the correct answer today is thursday which of the following is certain it will rain next Sunday. Tomorrow will be Friday. Tomorrow will be sunny. It will be windy on Monday. Look, if today is Thursday, okay, we do not know if it will rain on the next Sunday because we did not check the weather report. Tomorrow will be sunny. We still did not check the weather report. And it will be windy on Monday. We did not check the weather report either. But tomorrow will be Friday is a fact. If today is Thursday, then tomorrow will be Friday. So that is the correct answer. What is the missing number in the following pattern? 8-14 17 comma 20 so we do not know what will come over here we know it is 8 then 14 what is the missing number in the following pattern 9 11 12 or 13 so guys 8 plus 3 equals to 11. Okay. Now let's plus 3 in 11. Okay. That will give us the answer of 14. Meaning, if we add 3 to 14, it will equal to 17. And 17 plus 3 will equal to 20. Meaning, the answer is 11. You could have tried different numbers like this and got the answer. What is the value of the digit 3 in the number? 543.28 So, as we all know, 
that if there is a decimal then the digit to the left of the decimal will be 1 10 and 100 and so on and the digit to the right will be 10th 100th thousandth and so on meaning and the digit 3 or is on the left side meaning the digit 3 comes in the place 1 meaning that the answer is b that equals to 3 12 a bakery has 50 cupcakes 50 cupcakes if 18 cupcakes are sold then how many cupcakes are left in the bakery so we will minus 18 from 50 so let's minus we can minus 8 from 0 that means 5 is not 5 5 will look down into 4 and give a 1 over here 10 minus 8 is 2 so and 4 minus 1 is 3 so the answer is 32 Guys, I hope you're really learning a lot from these questions I'm answering with you. And I'm really glad you're watching. Anyway, 13. Which of the following fractions is not equivalent to 2 by 3? To figure this one out, it's going to be a bit tricky. Plus, they said fractions. So, that, so there is a chance of 2 or 3 of being not equivalent, equivalent to 2 by 3. So, to figure out this answer, we can see that if so we write 2 by 3 here look guys if the if so first let's times it by 2 okay that equals to 2 times 2 is 4 and 3 times 2 is 6. Four by six. Four by six is here, meaning four by six is equivalent. So this is not gonna be the answer. But guys, looking at this, that two by five is also an option. But when two by three is the equal the fraction then 2 by 5 is not possible because the the first multiplicant of it the first equivalent fraction of it is 4 by 6 meaning this is one of the answers let's see if we can find more 3 by 4 3 by 4 is not a equivalent to 2 by 3 so i think we found all answers